Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we have a friend of mine, Sean Mears. He's joining us, going to share with us his top three games and stuff like that. But also he's going to introduce himself, but he does some really cool stuff. Uh, he is a radio announcer for the Richmond Black Widows football team. You can find him on Legacy Internet Radio every Sunday night at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. And he's also part of the RVA Real Estate Group. Um, just a little bit more, I guess, can you give us a little bit more about the what's the radio show about? Sure. The radio show itself is, um, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a phenomenal show. It's one of those things that, that, you know, it gives you the opportunity to get real life radio without having sanctions from the FCC. So we are much like a, a standard um, internet company, so we don't have to follow those regulations. So we can kind of say, it's like a, a bunch of podcasts. Okay, yeah. There. Um, so they also play music in between. So it's pretty cool. My show is called On the Hot Seat with the Coach, and it focuses around the sports and entertainment industry. Um, okay. I've done a couple of things like debut uh, new and exciting music from people that are into sports as well, um, because, you know, sports and music go hand in hand. So we do um, oh, yeah. fellow athletes that are, you know, aspiring musicians. Do music. Do music. You want to you want to plug anybody? Any like anyone off the top of your head? No. No, I okay. am not gonna plug them. <laughs> okay. You like watch watch my show. <laughs> watch my show. Yeah, there you exactly. go. All right. So you want to find some new music? Definitely tune into his a uh, his a uh, radio internet show. All right, that's cool. And then uh, I didn't know you were a, a coach for the uh, women's football team. Well, I didn't even know about that really. Well, yeah, I am. I am the play-by-play -play announcer for the Richmond Black Widows. They're a professional women's football team here in Richmond, Virginia. Um, they play uh, in the MWFL. MWFL. And so they play, uh, a, it actually was supposed to be a 10-game season, but of course with the pandemic that's going on now, our season got uh, canceled for this uh, season. But last year they did pretty well. Um, they made the playoffs, and I got a chance to call their games by play by play. So, if awesome. you guys like hearing my voice, you can hear it when I say first down. Black <laughs> All right, yeah, that's definitely that's pretty cool, man. That's that's awesome. Yeah, I can dig that. Yeah, okay. So, a little more with that, that league. So it's a full league, a bunch of teams. It's like every state, one well, every state, maybe, but like quite a few states. Well, they have a bunch of them on the east coast. So um, their particular division has teams. Uh, as far as north as Connecticut, as far south as South Carolina. Okay. Um, so, you know, they're pretty competitive, and it's fun watching women play football because the, every notion that you thought you had about tackle football and women, you throw it out the window. They, you know, they, they hit, they're violent. Oh, they man. It's bu built up game. rage. Oh, it's everything. <laughs> dealing, dealing with their husbands. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, that, that's, that sounds a very entertaining. And I know you do an awesome job on the mic, so I have to check that out. That's cool. I didn't know about your Sunday. Uh, I saw you a couple clips on a radio show. I didn't know if that was yours or not. Like you had post them on Facebook a couple times. So yeah, yeah that's cool, I, man. I, I used to put it on Facebook a lot, but um, I kind of got away from it because you know, having the whole thing, people don't want to see my face. <laughs> <laughs> they just want to hear my voice, and oh, yeah. they see they want to see the other people. So. I try to, you know, stay uh, behind the camera as much as possible. I commend you for doing these types of interviews because uh, I don't like them that much. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's something to get used to. It's easy. But, yeah, you're a charismatic guy, so you, yeah, you get in front of the camera. <laughs> I'm somewhat narcissistic because I'm a realtor by trade. <laughs> but I, I despise doing these. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you doing it. Oh, no, I, I, I love doing them. They're necessary evil, especially nowadays when you have um, different uh, ways to communicate with people and podcasts and streaming and things like that. So I understand it's a necessary evil. It's just one of those things that I just never get comfortable with. Right, I understand. Yeah. All right, man, that's cool stuff. Um, so a little, a little more pertaining to my show, I'm actually like the see Questions I, I'm going to probably ask everybody. Um, what is your top three video games of all time? I know you're maybe not a huge gamer, but like of all time, your top three. My top three video games of all time. I used to be a gamer. My sons hey, probably will not 
say so. <laughs> my sons will probably they think that you know the old man don't play video games. But I think my number one game of all time, believe it or not, is Contra. Oh yeah. Yeah, Contra was my game back in the day. Um, Get the thirty lives. That, you have to go. You know what? Listen, I, I was good. I was really, really good. Yeah, you got got through without it. Oh yeah, I was, yeah. I was, I was really good. And then I developed the cheat codes. Well, I didn't develop, but I, once I found out what the cheat codes were, oh, then I really was yeah, good. it was breezy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. But um, and then the number two was uh, of all time has to be Madden. Uh, yeah, I Madden figured. Series. Figured with sports would be in there. Yeah, it had to be the whole Madden series. Um, and then after that, I'd have to go into, uh, <laughs> believe it or not, Super Mario Brothers. Hey, I'm sure I that's on play. high on a lot of people's lists. I used to play that thing every yeah. single day. I think I played it last week. I pop it in sometimes, <laughs> and I was, I was play it because it's it's so it's uh, solid. It's a solid gameplay. Now, back in the Madden days, I won't give away our ages or anything, but, like, do you remember the competition? Did you play any of the competition for that? Do you remember, like, NFL Game Day? And um, what was the uh, – was NFL Game Day was the main competition way back when, right? Yeah, Game Day was the main one. Yeah, I think yeah, I think this, they just killed it. <laughs> well, ESPN yeah, I, did a I, series. I never, I never got into the competitions of it. I just always, like, beating my friends a little bit and then, you know. Yeah. I never wanted to get into a tournament. I always wanted to get into a tournament. Um, I had a friend, actually, was a former player. He was a Halo uh, guy, and he entered a couple tournaments, and he actually won $20,000. It was the first person I ever knew that won money at a tournament. And I, I, I don't want to say I was envious, but I was, like, for about two weeks, I was just like... <laughs> yeah, just playing a game, like, I can get some money doing this. Okay, so... There's top three video games. Um, I don't know if you're a board game or card game or all, but I always ask top three board games or card games of all time. Um, my realtor side of me has to be Monopoly um, <laughs> because I didn't like it when I was younger. Uh, but now that I'm older, um, I understand that Monopoly is real. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's one of my favorite games. Uh, after that, it would be Uno and, you know. So classics. Yeah, your classics, your Uno and your Spades. Okay, yeah. Well, the good thing is those are cheap to find. You can pick them up anywhere. And uh, pretty easy to teach. So those are all pluses. People give Monopoly a hard time. But uh, it's it's fun. All right. Um, so where can people find you? Like, um, if you want to give out uh, your Twitter tag or anything like that. Absolutely. You can find me on social media at mytime1894 on Instagram. And at Sean Mears, that's S H A W N M E A R S, on Facebook and on Twitter. You can also find me every Sunday night at legacyinternetradio.com, where you can hear me on the hot seat with the coach every week. All right, definitely tune into that. Hey, man. Hey, Sean. I appreciate you coming on the show, uh, giving us your your uh, what you do and uh, those cool things you're doing. Coach, radio show, realtor, man of many talents. Awesome, man. Absolutely. Well, appreciate it. Thanks for having Th me, man. I appreciate it. All right, man. Thanks. I love your show. We got to come back and talk wrestling one week. Now, the wrestling I can talk about, you know, for a long, long time. <laughs> All right, man. We need to definitely set up a next, the next show. We need to talk wrestling. All right. That is a, a can-do. Okay, man. Well, appreciate it. Thank you for your time. All right. Thanks for tuning in, guys.